What's up YouTubers, Johnny DIY here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys all about the drip edge on your roof. Alright, if you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I do a lot of these DIY household and automotive projects. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, so we'll come up here to our roof's edge. And right here, this is the drip edge that I'm talking about. And what happens if you don't have it is the rain will actually run down the shingles and back underneath. And it'll end up damaging, rotting your fascia, or even your rafter tails. So this drip edge is really important. And if you have a gutter like this, you're going to want to install the drip edge up and over the gutter so that all that water goes right into your gutter none of it gets in between the fascia and the gutter so ideally this will have been installed when you don't have any roofing on it goes on first on top of your sheathing then you have your tar paper or your covering and then you have your roofing but since we're going to be adding this to the shingles already you're going to want to take a putty knife like this and we're going to go along and get the bottom edge of that shingles we're going to loosen that up to put our flashing drip edge in. So we're going to want to measure for our next piece that we're going to cut. And we're going to want it at least a couple inches overlapping our other piece so that no water gets in between those two. So we'll go ahead and use a square so we get a nice straight line to mark off our cut. We're going to go ahead and use some regular old tin snips. And make sure you wear gloves because this is really sharp once you cut it. And we're just going to cut along that line. Try and get as straight a cut as you can. Just wiggle it a little bit, break right apart. Okay, so we'll take that final cut piece. And you're going to want this little bent edge. That's going to be the bent edge going down. That's where the water is going to fall off the edge. And what we're going to do is we're going to slip it underneath those loosened up shingles with our putty knife. Okay, so we'll use our putty knife to lift up the shingles and slide it under that all the way down. Okay, and we'll make sure it's pushed all the way in. Now this is important. If you have a gutter, you just want to make sure that it's over the gutter's edge. If you don't have a gutter, you're going to want this drip edge actually to be pulled out before you mount it about a half inch so you want about a half inch between the drip edge and the fascia a gap so that the water just doesn't run off the edge onto your fascia and you have a couple different ways of mounting this so ideally if you can peel back the shingles you want to drive a short roofing nail or a screw through the the top underneath the shingle you don't really want to face nail it if you don't have to but if you do, you're going to want to cover it up with some sort of roofing sealant, roofing tar. Or you can, what you can do is you can put some dollops of roofing sealant or tar right underneath the shingles and on top of the drip edge. And then press it down and it'll just glue it. It doesn't really have to, it just has to be held in. Alright, and that's it guys. That's how to install roof drip edge. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. Check out my other videos. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching Johnny DIY guys. Keep on doing it yourself. Take care.